Welcome to this week's Steam Culture. I want to tell you about the Doble E20, which was the steam car, probably the last big attempt at commercially viable steam cars. And in 1925, this thing did 132.5 miles an hour, which is incredibly unique and owed to a lot of the design features. Now at the time, a steam car would take anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes to start off because you'd have to light a pilot, do a few things, wait for steam pressure and heat to build up in the system, do some other things, and then you'd go on your way. This car was truly groundbreaking in that it had a keyed ignition system. And Doble's design of this flash boiler built steam in 90 seconds, and then this thing was on down the road, which is incredibly unique. Also incredibly unique was the condenser application in that it could take the exhaust steam that wasn't used, it could reconstitute it into water to be used again to make steam. Now, legend has it that at the time, the Stanley steamer car people said that the condenser application could never be done. So when Doble had invented that, he, uh, he drove his car past their factory, kind of paraded it by several times with no steam plume coming out just to show them that could be done. So, a little trash talking in this steam car industry. Now, why didn't the car take off? Lots of things. It was complicated as engines, uh, steam engines were at the time. It weighed 500, sorry, 5,500 pounds. So stopping it was a bit of a problem. And um, the, uh, the Doble steam car and the Bessler uh, steam company, which is the one that made the car, had a lot of financial problems. Apparently he would build the car, tweak it, uh, build the car, tweak it. So they just spent tons of money building it and it never went anywhere. Now, if that Bessler name sounds familiar, it's because the Bessler steam company is the one that built the steam plane that we talked about about two weeks ago. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now listen, in our link below, we're gonna put, um, sorry, in our description below, we're gonna put a link to Jay Leno's garage. He owns one of these things. In fact, he owns the model that was first owned by Howard Hughes. And Jay Leno does a fantastic job uh, going through the history and the operation. He's got a cutaway of the car so you can see the engine. We're gonna include that link down in the description. I really encourage you to go watch that. But before you do, I want you to go to our site because we're going to have content for you each and every week. Thanks for joining us on Steam Culture, Culture the Doble Steam Car. See you.